Noah Lewis, 52. He did a stint in the army back in the 90s. There's no recent record of employment. He told the neighbors that his mother was bedridden and that he was taking care of her. So they just assumed that he was the good son? Yeah, but the relationship was far from rosy. Four years ago, his mother had him committed to a state mental institution after he threatened her with a knife. So, I got in touch with the state-appointed shrink who's treating him. He says that Noah has borderline personality disorder and exhibited violent tendencies. So it's him. Any record of where he was 30 years ago? And we're a little bit more focused on where he is now. We have teams still combing the neighborhood. We put out a bolo, but so far nothing. Your theory about the killer's M.O. may have just paid off. You found something? Yeah, from February of 83. The day after you saw that body, police ticketed an abandoned pickup truck they saw by the roadside near Hollander's Woods. The truck belonged to a farmer who loaned it to a young woman, a migrant worker, to go out and make a supply run. When the cops told the farmer that they found his truck, he assumed that she'd just run off. So he never reported her missing? No, he didn't want to get her in trouble with immigration. Do you remember who she was? Yeah, and he had a photo. What's her name? Rosalita Campo. We'll dig deeper into Noah. See if we can connect him to that area 30 years ago. We'll find him, Castle. I promise. Uh, I'm supposed to head off to my review. Do you want me to postpone? Uh, no, I should go with you. I'll be all right. I'll call you when I'm done, okay? 